Hey there, scientists, and welcome to another PS Science video. I'm Miss Oyanoki, and I'm just dropping in with a challenge for you. But first, that reminds me. I was wondering something. Do all things drop at the same speed? Let's find out. Let's have some dropping races. First, we'll do Big Glue versus Little Glue, and Big Ball versus Little Ball. I'm going to drop the two objects at the same time from the same height, and you be the judge and tell me which one hit first. Let's watch this again in slow motion. It looks like it was a tie. Everybody wins! Most objects fall at the same speed, except for really light objects, like a feather. Check it out. So if gravity pulls things down at roughly the same speed, how can you affect how fast something falls? I have this cool parachute guy. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to take him up and drop him down. How does the parachute slow him down? I have two identical pieces of paper, so they weigh the same. If I drop them at the same time, we know they'll hit the table at the same time. Right? But what if I change the shape of one? What if I crumple one paper and leave one paper flat? There's not any more or less paper. I've just squished it up. Let's see. Watch which one hits the table first. Why does the crumply paper hit the table before the flat paper? The crumply paper has less surface area. Even though it weighs the same and there's the same amount of paper in it, as air pushes up on the falling paper ball, we learned that last week that's called lift, there aren't as many, you see there's not so many places for it to grab onto. Whereas in the falling flat paper, there's lots of places for the air to push up on and slows down the speed of the fall, creating more drag. We learned that word last week. So what does that tell us about parachutes? Which one of these would make a better parachute? So I mentioned a challenge earlier. Your challenge is to invent a device that can slow an object down. Choose an object from your house, something not breakable, like a small toy, dinosaurs, little animals, or even a small stuffed animal, and that will be your jumper. You will design your device to fit onto your jumper and then test it and see if it really slows them down. Before that, you might want to drop your jumper a few times just to see how they fall without it and then base your design on that. When you're coming up with a design, you need to think about materials. Materials are what something are made of. You can find different materials around your house. Just make sure you ask your grown-ups first before taking something. Walk around and see what you have and what you could use to maybe make your device. I grabbed a few things just as some examples. Tissues, paper towel, different plastic bags if you still have them, a trash bag, paper clips, rubber bands. You might want to use some string, maybe some straws, or some kind of fabric. Or paper. Then you might also need tape or some scissors. Gather up all your materials that you think you might want to use, then think about how you can put them together and what's the best way to attach them to your object. Once you've done that, then go ahead and build and then attach it. Okay, I'm ready for my first trial. Be sure to ask a grown-up for permission before you climb on anything in your house. And if they say it's not safe, just throw your, your jumper up with their parachute on and then watch them come back down. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go! Well, I don't know.
know if my first try was such a success. But I'm going to keep trying, and you should too. Good luck, scientists. Okay, scientists. Thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.